The Bank of the Philippine Islands unveils its first solar-powered branch at the BPI Ayala Extension Branch in Makati. Let's explore their solar energy systems. Uh, we installed the solar panels here at the Ayala Avenue Extension Branch uh, because we are going really into more sustainable practices. Uh, finding ways of really making sure that we can use clean energy as much as possible. Uh, this is really part of our strategy to, to do sustainable practices uh, in the whole organization. So I think uh, the solar panels, while well, still not very, very economical to use, uh, it promises and it has potential because eventually electricity cost will increase. And I think this is our way of stabilizing our cost in the future. The system that we installed here is quite small. It's still about 5 kilowatt hours. Uh, 5 kilowatt and uh, the requirement is about 20, 25 to as much as 30 kilowatts. So it's still small compared to the power consumption of the branch. But what, what we're just trying to test here is the feasibility and I think we're looking at good results already. We, we are saying that there's really potential for rolling this out to some other branches. I think there are plans of rolling this out, especially in the off-grid branches, because when we say off-grid, these are not connected yet to the regular sources of power supply. The BPI installation uh, is a project that started about nine months ago. Uh, we uh, collected the possible uh, branches that can more or less house the solar uh, system uh, on the roof. And uh, this was chosen because, as you can see, there are no buildings beside it. And at any point in time, from the time the sun rises up to the sun sets, uh, the reflection of the sun hits this particular branch and it is a fairly representative uh, branch uh, so it was here that we decided to put this up and now it's producing uh, 408 kilowatt uh, from the time that we installed it in April 28. It is saving um, uh, the BPI branch 20% of their energy consumption so uh, we anticipate that uh, within seven years they would have fully paid their investment and considering that the life of the solar is for 25 years so they will have 18 years to enjoy the solar with very small operations and maintenance costs under the renewable energy law there is a provision that allows small businesses and residential to connect to the Miralco grid and whatever is in excess of their consumption they can export it to the grid and Miralco will pay the consumers small businesses and residential the generation cost of the value of the electricity that is produced like for example in the BPI case they are closed on Saturdays and Sundays so they are not using their power so BPI can then export this excess electricity back to Meralco and Meralco will pay for the electricity that is exported to the grid during weekends. We need to be able to service our clients all the time whenever they expect us to be there. So more important than savings, I think, is just the supply of power. Now the savings are not insignificant. Randy, you said about 6,000 pesos a month, no? So call it 70,000 pesos a year, okay? We have, Navi, we have about 850, 1,000 branches, maybe 850 branches, huh? Let's assume only half of them we can do this. Now let's assume we can only do this for 400 branches. So 70,000 pesos a year, small, this is a small branch, no? 400 branches, what's that, 28 million pesos? <laughs> 28 million pesos. Okay, it's a lot of money. Okay, what do we trade at? User PE, right? Think about the market value that that creates for our bank. Okay, so the advantages of this are, are several fold. Savings, supply, value to the bank, value to our shareholders, value to the consumers. That's why I'm excited about this. 
Okay, I hope we can do more. Time's up. <laughs>